Okay, there we go. There's a new one. Yep. That's actually the second one I put in. The first one I put in, I put too far in, and there is a little oiler right there. So I had to take it and get it out. Dig it out. And then there's our seal right there. Yep. You take it before tightening this shit down, get that right. I don't think I had it up inside there far enough is what it was. Yeah, so now I got it in there right, I think. You can tell with the cap, the way the cap is. I just wasn't paying attention. So now I got to go 38 pounds on the uh, rod wrist pins and then 70 pounds on the main caps and put them back down. Put the timing chain back on. Roll it over, put the oil pan on it. Uh, well, put the oil pump back on, put that oil pump back on, put the oil pan back in, and then uh, uh, I'm not going to put the gasket on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spin it and see if we got, uh, I'll take and pull the sending unit out and I'll hook my little hose up right here. And we'll check it, see what kind of pressure. It should be just blowing out of there is what it should be doing. <clears throat> I should have 40 pounds of pressure. And if that don't work, well, I got a 14.4 millimeter right here. That's a 14.4, and it's smaller to go in that hole. If it blows that one out, that's a 9 sixteenths, you know, which that's the one that he had. So I got a steel, which that thing is really small, and then being able to try to figure out how far I can put it up in there would be a guesswork. Uh, but that worked pretty good. And uh, we're almost there. That's done. Got the rear seal in. All parts are in for it. I ran all over town just trying to get that one uh, expansion plug right there because the kit that I ordered somehow or another was being delivered into Arlington, Texas and well I'm not in Arlington that's for damn sure so uh, I told him just give my money back and refund it and I'll go get one and there here I am I'm ready to do it get it all put back together turn it over check the oil pressure uh, drain oil and then put the gaskets and everything on it and put it all completely back together and put it in that truck and, and get it going so there you have it peace y'all I don't even think I have to close this up right here I might have to but that I'll just put the cover on and just stick it on there you know the way it'll blow and dump out into the oil pan so there you go and then your shot bought and all that other good shit it back on track again Bye.